This next song we're about to sing is an Urshan original and it's called Silence the Roar. And so a couple months ago we were sitting down in Sister Payne's office and we wanted to write a song that made a declaration of the time that we're living in and the victory of the Lord that is going to come up from the times that we are living in. And at this time, we heard of riots. We heard of anger and hatred and murders. And it was just a dark time. You felt it in the atmosphere. Everything you did, everything you heard of, that's all we spoke about was, oh, this is what's going on. Oh, did you hear that this happened? Oh, they stormed the Capitol. Uh, and, and we said, what can we do to write a song that declares a victory? And so what's interesting is in my mind, we're thinking of, um, of what's going on. And in my mind, I'm actually picturing DC because it's the epitome of our nation. Laws are passed there. Things are done there. They start there and they spread across the nation. Um, and I feel as though that the enemy has a big stronghold in that area because it affects our nation so mightily. And so I felt it perfect to speak before this song that we are so close to that area now. And that in Psalm 74 and 4, I want to read to you. I thought this was so interesting. It says, Thine enemies roar in the midst of thy congregations, and they set up there in signs for signs. And I thought about how right now there are times when we allow the enemy and what's going on in our world to seep into our congregations and to cause a lack of unity, to cause that same hatred, anger, the same spiritual strongholds that we're dealing with in the world to seep into our congregations and tear us apart. And when we are not unified, we cannot stand against the things that are going on in our times. And I thought, hmm, that sounds like something that's going on right now. And I thought of all the problems that are arising, and not only that, but we're also facing a time where many of us don't even show up to church. We watch it live out of fear, out of uh, maybe even safety, but fear based on the mandates of where we are. And I was like, wow, we need a song that declares that our God in this church will rise up above that. So then in Isaiah 25 and 5, it says, but you silence the roar of the enemy as the shade of a cloud cools relentless heat. So the boastful songs of the ruthless people are stilled. Our world and our enemy is ruthless and it will not be moved. But what we can do as a church is stand for what we believe in and the victory that we've already been given and stand for that and silence the war of that enemy that is trying to seep into our churches, seep into our families and into our homes. So you might not know the words or the melody to this song, but I ask that you would stand with us and declare that the roar of the enemy will be silenced in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
by the doubt, by the fear and anxiety that may be in your life. And so as we begin to sing this bridge, I wish somebody would declare over your life that you're going to silence the roar. Amen. Amen. Silence the roar of the enemy. Fill the earth with the sound of your victory. Give me faith for the fight I cannot see. Yeah.